Now to this, a stranger tries to pick up a nine year old student from the Alexander Twilight College Preparatory Academy. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office is now asking some serious questions. That's where we find CBS 13's Madison Keevy right now digging on this story. So Madison, how'd this happen? Right, well, it happened in broad daylight. A woman, a stranger, gets onto this campus and through these gates, which are supposed to be locked. When she comes in contact with a staff member on the other side, she asks for a nine-year-old student using her first name. And this is the point of concern for that little girl's mother. I just feel like it's not being handled how it should be, being that one of their students almost got kidnapped. A nine year old named by a stranger at Alexander Twilight College Preparatory Academy on Monday around five. The woman attempted to pick up the student from an after school program, claiming she was in a hurry and needed the child to come out fast. I feel like if my daughter never said my mom didn't tell me someone was picking me up, the staff would have let my daughter go with this person and I would never have seen her again. Danielle Rivers is the mother of that child and says staff called her after her daughter told them something wasn't right. Not sure as to if I was going to make it there in time, you know, before this lady actually got my daughter. A security camera photo of the woman was shared with Rivers and law enforcement, according to the school's spokesperson. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office didn't confirm if the woman is part of their investigation. And just to know that somebody could just walk on campus and just, you know, and ask for her child, that was scary. Rivers showed us an email that went out to other families, warning of what happened. The school called the incident an attempted unauthorized pickup. But Rivers says it should be called attempted kidnapping. That school staff didn't follow protocol outlined in the email to parents. Safety is first. Um, check IDs you know, identify the person that's picking them up. Um, don't just allow kids to leave with anybody because they say a kid's name. A school spokesperson says that staff followed all safety protocols and that the woman did not get inside this building, only just beyond these gates. But of course, that nine year old's mother said if the staff were to have checked her ID or even just gotten her name, they would have more than just that security camera image. I took those concerns again back to the school spokesperson and did not get an answer.